Senator Elizabeth Warren, take a look. We have a representative in Congress who they say was here a long time ago. They call her Pocahontas. Pocahontas is not happy. She's not happy. She's the worst. No criticism from me. <laughs> well, now a liberal paper, the Berkshire Eagle, is urging Warren to clear up her heritage issue, writing, quote, we call upon our senior senator to, to uh, screw up her courage and take the spit test. If she already has, but is keeping the results under wraps, we urge her to be forthcoming with them. She has nothing to lose but her Achilles heel. The author of What Really Happened, radio talk show host Howie Carr, joins us now to weigh in on this. Howie, you've been all over this story. She's attempting to change her image by doing a lot of Native American events recently um, to turn the conversation. But until she takes a DNA test, how can she really affirm that she has that heritage background? Well, that's obviously the problem, Pete. Uh, I, I've been asking for this, and other people have been asking her to take this DNA test for, uh, for at least six years since she first ran for the Senate. During the first campaign, uh, I, I got a uh, pen that she had put in her mouth, and we took the uh, cap and sent it off to a DNA company, uh, hoping that uh, we could get uh, proof one way or the other, but unfortunately we couldn't. So this is, this is nothing new, this demand. The, the difference this time is that it is, as you say, a very liberal newspaper, the Berkshire Eagle, asking for this. And uh, they, they wrote it in a, in a rather snarky way, too, which, which is, uh, is not something that she expects. I mean, they said that if, uh, if it turned out that she wasn't telling the truth, if she admitted it, it would be a, quote, 